ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى اله واصحابه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما we start as we always do first and foremost by praising and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, showing him our utmost gratitude and appreciation. And on this beautiful special day of Friday, the day that we gather together to remember Allah, to do the dhikr of Allah, to declare the greatness of Allah, we bear witness and testify that there's nothing worthy of our worship except the one true God, Allah, and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger, our role model and our guide. And we ask Allah to bless, protect, honor, and compliment him, his family, his companions, his followers and everyone that follows the way until the end of time may Allah include us from amongst them Allah he reminds us believers have the taqwa of Allah shield yourself from the anger of Allah by fulfilling his commandments and staying away from his prohibitions and do that the way Allah deserves and don't die don't breathe your last breath except that you are submitting to Allah and again Allah reminds us believers have the taqwa of Allah put a wall between you and the fire of hell and what, fulfill whatever obligations Allah has put on you and speak the truth. Whoever has these two qualities of taqwa and speaking the truth, Allah will forgive your sins and Allah will correct your actions. Whoever then truly obeys Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah bless and protect him, will have the true victory in this life and in the life to come. In the past uh, many months, alhamdulillah, we have seen a lot of rain and we have all seen, you know, especially if you're driving down the 57, Either the mountains on the sides of the 57, or if you look up north to the, uh, uh, you know, to the snowy mountains, they are all lush and green. But what we haven't talked about, we've always talked about how beautiful they are, how green they are, and even down via Sorella, you don't notice until it starts to fade away how green and lush it has become. Even right when you turn, it's the entire thing behind the fence is filled with green. But if you start to look closely, after there hasn't been rain for a few days, there hasn't been a rain for a week, a week or two, if you look right at the edge of the fence, you see that the green is starting to become yellow, it's starting to become brown. The core deep inside is lush, beautiful, as green as it can get. But the edges, the part that gets more sun, the parts that are, are more on the dirt patches, you start to see the orange and the brown and the yellow starting to fill in. And these examples are things that Allah reminds us about over and over and over again in the Qur'an. Right? This is where Allah, He tells us in Surah Al-Zumur, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَسَلَكَهُ يَنَابِيعَ فِي الْأَرْضِ ثُمَّ يُخْرِجُ بِهِ زَرْعًا مُخْتَلِفًا أُكُلُهُ ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يجعله حطاما إن في ذلك لذكرى لأولي الألباب haven't you seen, don't you think about the fact that Allah sends rain down from the sky? And then what does Allah do with that rain? It goes into rivers, it goes into ponds, it goes into the sea and oceans, it goes into wells. We, the water is stored somewhere. The water is stored somewhere. يَنَابِعَ فِي الْأَرْضِ ثُمَّ يُخْرِجُ بِهِ زَرْعًا مُخْتَلِفًا أُكُلُهُ And then that water that has been stored, what does Allah do with it? Allah uses that stored water to bring out all of this greenery, all of this vegetation, all of these plants and trees and flowers that we see. What kind? Mukhtalifan alwan. You see green, you see blue, you see purple, you see every color. And it's so beautiful. Right? We, we, you, you don't even need a filter when you take pictures of it. But when the rain stops coming, when the summer starts to roll around here in Southern California, what happens? Then it starts to fade, then it starts to weaken, it starts to brown and become yellow. Give it enough time and then it becomes the crunchy leaf that just blows away in the air. 
Within this is a reminder, within this is something to make us think those people that use their minds and they use their intellects. It, but is that it? Do we just look at nature and we think, oh wow, that's so beautiful. Allah told us that the plants became green and then became yellow and then they're gone. Many times when Allah talks about what we see in nature with our eyes, he is at the same time talking about revelation and people. If we were to use the metaphor words for each of these things, Alam tara anna Allah anzala mina sama imaa. Haven't you seen how Allah sends rain down from the sky? Let's flip out the words. Haven't you seen how Allah sends revelation down from the heavens? Allah sent the Quran down from the heaven. And then he put it fil He put it deep into the earth. He sent it into the heart of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He put it into the copies of mus masahif and books that we have, the ones that we read from. He put it into the chests of pious, righteous believers and scholars that hold the knowledge of revelation. Thumma. And, and then from the, what's saved inside of our hearts, what's saved inside of the Mus'haf, what has been preserved on the tongue of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ثُمَّ يُخْرِجُ بِهِ زَرْعًا مُخْتَلِفًا أَلْوَانُ From the revelation that's stored inside, Allah uses that revelation to produce beautiful, beautiful things, all different colors, like all of the variety of different Muslims that we have on earth. The different languages, the different skin colors, the different regions that we come from. Some of us have been Muslim for a week. Some of, some, some of us have been Muslim for a hundred years. Some of us were crying this Ramadan for a child. Some of us were crying this Ramadan, Allah let me make it to my next paycheck. Some of us were finishing our 10th khatam this Ramadan. And some of us were reading two, three, four surahs a night. We're all at a different level. And with revelation, Allah gives us all something to benefit from. Each one of us is like that blossoming flower, the blossoming fruit, the blossoming tree. From the revelation that came down. But, and we may have already felt it a little bit today. What happens when plants don't get enough water? They start to yellow, they start to brown, they start to fade. We have been given so much life this past Ramadan. Constantly, what have we done this Ramadan except for not just dive into an ocean of revelation? We have been swimming in Quran this entire month. And so we are lush, green, beautiful, colorful plants. But if we stop ourselves from getting the water, if we stop ourselves from drinking the rain, if we stop ourselves from revelation, we're going to start to become yellow, pale, brown, weak and crumble. And we can see that in our own relationships, how just overall happy, content we have been in Ramadan. How connected we've been to Allah. But if we stop consuming the rain, if we stop letting the Quran into our hearts, what's going to happen? We're going to start to be just like that green outside that's fading into brown. We have to keep consuming the, 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 the rainwater. We have to keep consuming revelation. We have to keep our connection with the Quran going. If not, we'll find ourselves uncontent. We'll find ourselves ungrateful. We'll find ourselves miserable. We'll find ourselves just hoping, when am I going to be done with this? Not out of joy, yearning for the hereafter, but out of being tired of this world. But what do you do when the plant starts to weaken, you give it more water. So when our hearts start to wane, when our hearts start to weaken, when we start to feel the rust and the, and the brown and the crunchiness come into our hearts, it's a sign. You need more nourishment from the sky you need more nourishment from the heavens you need more wahi in your life you need more revelation in your life i need more quran in my life so i can give my heart life i can bring my soul back to life inna fi dhalika la dhikra li ulil albab these metaphors these examples that allah gives will hit different if we think about it if we pay attention if we look at it hoping for guidance 
You say, where did you get that from? Why do you think that this rain is like revelation? Where did you get that? Why does Allah then say in the next ayah, how beautiful does Allah speak? How amazing, divine, perfect is His book. He just talked about rainwater coming down from the sky, beautiful, lush gardens growing. They become brown when the water goes away. And so He says, أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ Okay, fine, put that aside. Think about the person who Allah has filled their chest with Islam. Allah has filled their chest with guidance. فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ He's walking, she's walking, they're living their life according to revelation. They're living their life with nur, with light, with guidance from their master. Because they got an IV of Qur'an going straight to their heart, they are living it up. They get a constant stream of Qur'anic guidance coming to them. So their life, they are walking on light. They are walking on guidance from Allah. And Allah says, compare that person whose chest is open, that they don't have the tightness and constriction of this life, but they feel content, they feel grateful, they are hoping and, and yearning for the hereafter. They are living their life according to guidance. Compare that person to someone who is qasiyatu qulubuhum. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Compare that person to someone whose heart is so hard, it's so dead. It hasn't gotten rainwater, it hasn't gotten revelation, it hasn't gotten Qur'an in so long. It is so dead, water, Qur'an can't even go inside. So it's hard from عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ The reminder of Allah, Qur'an can't even go inside. Are these two people the same? Is a plant that you water every single day, here's the right amount of sunlight, here's the fertilizer that I give, I give it this exact amount of water. Compare that plant to something you just throw on a concrete and just say, all right, we'll see what happens. Are they the same? One is beautiful, lush, being nurtured, and the other one is فَوَيْلُ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ Screw that person. Screw that heart. That heart that is so far from revelation. Qur'an can't even get inside. Qur'an can't even get inside. أُولَٰئِكَ فِي ضَلَالِ mubin. Those people are in the most amount of mis- They're so lost. Our reminder is, is, is simple. Allah tells us this over and over and over again. That we are, we are creation. We are human beings, but we have been made, half of us from this earth, from dirt, from mud, and clay. And the other half of us is from a realm that is beyond our imagination. And so when we are asked to nourish ourselves with revelation, nourish ourselves from something beyond the heavens, it is only for our own good. And we may not have noticed the contentment we have felt this past month. We may not have noticed how good we have felt this past month. It'll start to hit in a few days when you're like, man, what, what happened? Life was so good. Yeah, it was hard. The timings were so tough. We, could, we didn't have enough sleep. But I felt good. I felt good. What made you feel good? You are getting the most fresh rainwater from Allah. You are getting Qur'an, you are getting revelation, and you let it into your heart. You listened to it, you recited it, you learned about it, you thought about it, you acted on it. And so Allah filled your heart with light, Allah filled your heart with guidance. And so let that rainwater in, let that revelation in, allow it to penetrate, and be someone who will be فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّن رَبِّهِ who will walk this life on the light of Allah, on the guidance of Allah. And if we ever find ourselves in dark times, if we ever find ourselves in tough times, if we ever find ourselves just in constant worry, say, how do I get a stronger relationship with Allah? How do I connect more with His book? How do I live my life according to this guidance that He's given me? And without a shadow of a doubt, Our problems may not be gone overnight, 
but Allah will give us the ability, the strength, the guidance to persevere through those challenges, to smile day in and day out hoping for the hereafter instead of feeling like a miserable wreck. These are the examples Allah gives so that we think, so that we live our life according to the Qur'an. And so every time now you read an ayah about plants and trees, about rain and vegetation, the crops in the Qur'an, think, is it really just plants? Or is Allah talking about me in a very subtle way? Is Allah talking about revelation in a very subtle way? Is Allah talking about my heart that doesn't need rainwater? It needs revelation to survive. May Allah make us people who, after this month, we have gotten a good stockhold of rainwater, of revelation, but we need to keep nourishing, keep nurturing our hearts with revelation. Keep nourishing, keep feeding your heart, keep feeding your soul Qur'an, and it will grow, and it will grow, and it will grow, and your heart will be filled with the most beautiful of fruits, the most beautiful of vegetation, all different kinds of colors, the colors of dua, the colors of dhikr, the color of worshiping Allah, the color of humility, and so many other things. May Allah allow us to be people of Qur'an. May Allah allow us to be people who do not leave our relationship with the Qur'an. That from this Eid until the next one, our relationship with the Qur'an only gets stronger. That it only gets further into our hearts. And we become like an un, uh, unyellowing, unbrowning forest of just growth in our hearts filled with iman. May Allah allow us to be people of the Quran and be people who live by the Quran. نقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفر فإن الغفور الرحيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Allah and His angels, they bless and protect the Prophet. So, O you who believe, ask Allah to bless and protect the Prophet. O Allah, we ask you to bless, to protect, to honor, to compliment our beloved Prophet, our Messenger, our role model, Muhammad Rasulullah, his family, friends, companions, and everyone that follows the way until the end of time. O Allah, include us from amongst them. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina azab al nar wa adkhilna jannata ka jannat al firdaus al aala bi ghairi hisab wa la azab ma habibik wa rasulik. O Allah, we ask you for the absolute best in this life, the absolute best in the hereafter, to protect us from the punishment of the hereafter, to enter us into your eternal beautiful gardens of paradise alongside your messenger without any questioning without any punishment Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anna Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana Allahumma baddil sayyatina kullaha hasanat O Allah you are the forgiver you're the one who loves to pardon and forgive and wipe away sins so O Allah wipe away our sins and pardon us O Allah forgive our parents forgive our children forgive all of the believing men and women until the end of time O Allah replace our bad deeds replace our sins with good beautiful deeds Allahumma taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sameel alim wa tub alayna innaka anta al-tawab al-rahim O Allah accept from us O Allah accept from us O Allah accept from us accept everything that we've done in this past month accept our praying our fasting accept all of the non-devotional acts that we've done that when we smiled to our household when we hugged a relative when we gave someone food when we ironed clothes when we were nice at home and all of the Quran 
that we did, all of the salah that we prayed, everything that we have done, O oh Allah, accept it from us and reward us for it and use it as a means to for us to come closer to you. Allahumma inna nas'aluka ridaka wal jannah wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wal nar. O oh Allah, we ask you, we beg you for your happiness, for your pleasure and for your eternal gardens of jannah. And O oh Allah, we take your protection. We want you to save us from your anger and from your fire of hell. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yun wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. O oh Allah, gift us and bless us with spouses and children that are the coolness of our eyes, the joy of our hearts, the smile on our faces, and make from the leaders of the believing men and women. اللهم اجعلنا من أهل القرآن الذين هم أهلك وخاصتك اللهم اجعلنا من أهل القرآن اللهم اجعلنا من أهل القرآن اللهم رزقنا حلاوة القرآن اللهم أعنا على تلاوة القرآن وأعنا على تدبر القرآن وأعنا على العمل عليه oh Allah allow us to be people of the Quran those that are your special people allow us to recite the Quran day and night allow us to think about and reflect over the Quran allow us to live our lives Lives according to the Quran, allow us to taste the sweetness of Quran. Allahumma rizqna halawa al iman. Allahumma habib ilain al iman wa zayinhu fi qulubina wa karih ilain al kufra wal fusuq wal isyan wa jalla min al rashidin. Allah make iman and faith Islam beloved to us and make us despise and hate everything that goes against it. Allah allow us to live a life of iman and Islam. Allow our children to live lives of Islam and iman and allow our entire progeny until the end of time to be devout, dedicated, obedient servant and slaves to you, O Allah, who have nothing in their heart except the most iman and Islam. That is possible. O oh Allah, allow us to reach another Ramadan. O oh Allah, allow us to reach another Ramadan. O oh Allah, allow us to reach and complete another Ramadan. Allah, allow us to see the days of Dhul Hijjah. Allow us to see the best 10 days of Dhul Hijjah and, to, and, and to, to live those as much as we can. Allah, allow us to live a life of Iman and Taqwa. O oh Allah, take our souls when you are pleased with us. O oh Allah, allow us to die when you are happy with us. Allah, allow us to live a life that you are happy with us, that you call us, that you invite us. Ya ayyatuha nafsu al-mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya, fadkhuli fi ibadi wa dkhuli jannati. Oh Allah, call us back. Oh calm, tranquil, obedient soul, return back to your master. You are happy and your master is happy with you. Enter among my servants and enter into jannah. O oh Allah, we ask you to be pleased with us. We ask for your forgiveness. We ask you to help those who are suffering and oppressed. Allahumma ansuri al-Muslimin wa alayka bil In this part of the world or any other part of the world, Allah, help them, give them your aid, give them your victory and support them. And O oh Allah, deal with their oppressors. O oh Allah, deal with their oppressors. O oh Allah, deal with their oppressors. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al-Azim. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi Muhammad wa على آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الله وجعل منهم أقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر شد لا إله إلا الله شد لا إله إلا الله شد أن محمد رسول الله شد أن محمد